In this analysis, the output variable is quality, and this is an ordinal variable recording the quality of fingerprints obtained using three different lifting methods, A, B and C. The measurements are also made at three different temperatures, 10, 20 and 30 degrees centigrade. This is similar to a two-way ANOVAR in which we have two factors, the temperature and the method. Initially, we wish to see if there is a significant difference in the quality of fingerprints for the different methods. And in this analysis, we must allow for the measurements made at different temperatures. And in this analysis, this is referred to as blocking the data by temperature. And since quality is an ordinal variable, we will need to use a non-parametric test and the equivalent of the two-way ANOVAR is the Friedman test. And just entering the data directly, the response is the quality. The treatment that we're testing is the method. And that we're blocking the data by temperature. And if we run this analysis, we encounter a problem. And we're told that in the analysis, there must have one observation per cell in the two-dimensional matrix. This means we cannot have replicate measurements in this analysis. So we will cancel this for the moment. And if we look at our data, we can see that we have replicate measurements. In, the, in row 1, we have a measurement for 10 degrees method A, but we also have another measurement which would be a replicate measurement also for 10 degrees and for method A. The way round this is to actually code the temperature using more than the just the three levels. So for the first 10, 20, 30 degrees, for the first block of A, B, C methods, we will code them 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. But when we come to replicate measurements, we will continue by coding the three temperatures as 4, 5 and 6. 4, 5 and 6, 4, 5 and 6. And then when we have third replicates, we code the temperature using 7, 8 and 9, 7, 8 and 9, etc. So now there are no replicate measurements if we use the variables method and temperature block. So if we return to our analysis, stat, non-parametrics, Friedman, and instead of temperature, we will have temperature block and run OK. We see the results in the session window. And we see that the results of the Friedman test give a p-value of 0.014 showing that there is a significant difference between at least two of the methods. We can see immediately that the Friedman test, unlike the two-way ANOVAR, does not tell us anything about the significance of the different temperatures. If we wish to test for the effect of different temperatures, we have to swap the variables between treatment and block. So if we wish to test for the effect of different temperatures, we would again come up against the problem of replicate measurements. So we would introduce a new variable method block to avoid these replicates. So for methods A, B and C, we would code these as 1, 2 and 3 in the first instance. But then re when replicates occurred, we would code these methods 4, 5 and 6 and then 7, 8 and 9. So using these variables, we go to STAT, non-parametrics, Friedman test. The treatment that we're testing will now be the temperature. And we will block the data using the variable method block and run OK. And this will give a p-value of 0 0.16 for the effect of temperature on the quality of the fingerprints, blocking it by the different methods. We can also use Kendall's coefficient of concordance for this analysis by going to STAT, Quality Tools, 
and then attribute agreement analysis we enter quality as the attribute being measured we will look for the different samples as the different methods and if we put these methods appraised at different temperatures we need to confirm that the categories of the attribute data are ordered as ordinal data and click OK and we find that Kendall's coefficient of concordance gives us the same p-value of 0 0.0137 which to two significant figures is 0 0.014. If we now repeat this analysis but we can reverse the two variables temperature and method and run the analysis again we find Kendall's coefficient of concordance now gives us the p-value of 0.016 as for the Friedman's test. Using both uh, Friedman's test and Kendall's coefficient of concordance we identified that there was a difference between at least two of the methods for lifting the fingerprints A, B and C. If we wish to identify where the difference lies it would be necessary to take each pair of methods separately and to perform a paired Wilcoxon test to identify for any significant differences. The important point to remember when doing this is that the critical level of significance for a difference when performing multiple tests is to use the Bonferroni correction to modify the value of alpha. And this is done by taking the normal significance level of 0 0.05 and dividing by the number of tests involved. In this case, for the three methods, there would be three possible paired tests. And then we would choose a significance level of 0 0.05 divided by 3, giving a significance level of about 0 0.017.